Tonight, Crown 4 continues investigating allegations of racism in the Richmond Police Department. This involves an ongoing lawsuit against Police Chief Chris Magnus, filed by seven African-American officers. Well, last night we played videos surrounding some questionable comments made by Chief Magnus. Tonight, Crown 4's Hazik Marion has more. And isn't it true that you said it'll be just like driving Ms. Daisy? I don't recall anything like that. This is a video recording of Richmond Police Chief Chris Magnus testifying as part of a racial discrimination lawsuit. Now, these African-American officers say Magnus repeatedly uses racially insensitive language. Now, Cron 4 has found more controversial comments allegedly made by the chief this time regarding Richmond Police Captain Alec Griffin driving the chief to an event. We will also hear testimony from the chief's former secretary, Sheila March, and Deputy Chief Ed Medina. And she asked me if he wanted, a, if he could ride, or if I could give him a ride. And I heard him in the background say, yeah, something to the effect of like, yeah, it would be like driving Miss Daisy. Do you recall the chief making some statement to the effect it'll be just like driving Miss Daisy? when Alec Griffin had called to see if the chief wanted to ride. I recall him making a statement along those lines, yes, sir. The chief and Alec Griffin were going to be going somewhere, correct? Right. And the chief makes some statement to the effect it would be like driving Ms. Daisy. Right. And he makes that statement to you. Right. And isn't it true that you said it will be just like driving Ms. Daisy? I don't recall anything like that. For the record, Cron4 obtained this edited DVD from the attorney representing the officers. We also obtained these transcripts and have cross-referenced the testimony. Hazik Medyun, Cron4 News. Okay, we're back here live in the newsroom with the other side of this story. Dan Kerman, you spoke with the chief's attorney yesterday. Tried to reach him again today. What happened? Well, as you know, yesterday we showed him clips of what Hazik aired, and he commented on that, said he wanted to in the future. Today we offered to do the same thing. This time he declined to view the clips and instead issued this statement. I want to show you the statement and show you what he said. He says... Uh, specifically that the DVD was prepared by the plaintiffs and their attorneys and presents isolated incidents in a very slanted and biased manner, completely out of context. He goes on to say the comment at issue, driving Miss Daisy, was a statement made by one of the plaintiffs, Cleveland Brown. It is outrageous and very inappropriate to broadcast this statement, which came from one of the plaintiffs and then suggest it shows Chief Magnus was acting wrongfully. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused here. These are two separate incidents? They appear to be talking about two separate incidents. What we saw in the video was an incident involving Captain Alec Griffin, and the chief appears not to remember that situation, but several other officers do. What Chief Magnus's attorney is referring to is a situation with Cleveland Brown. And in that, and we have the deposition right here, I will tell you what the chief said in that deposition. He says in this, I can recall the discussion of this driving Ms. Daisy business in another conversation that involved Cleveland Brown driving Lori Ritter and me to a meeting. And I can recall that when Cleveland said a comment along those lines, I said, Lori, Lori ain't no Ms. Daisy. The chief's implication in this instance appears to be that it was Cleveland Brown, one of the African-American officers who's brought this lawsuit, who was first to bring up this Miss Daisy incident. So separate from the first but But, but completely okay. separate from the incident that we saw on video. All Two right, separate Dan. instances. Elaine?